The Thor's Helmet Nebula is one of the most interesting targets in the entire night sky, and it lies within the constellation of Kynos Major. This target will be up for a good portion of the night until it sets way later on in the pre-dawn hours. And that is the target that we are going to be trying to image tonight. I can't believe I'm saying this already, but this is the last solid month of the winter night sky until we move on into March and galaxy season, which I am excited for, but I just feel like winter has flew by this year and I haven't got a chance to shoot all the targets I want. It feels like just yesterday I was making that winter sky is coming to a close video in February, but no, that was a year ago, which is crazy. Last year just flew by so fast. And here in just a month or two, we'll be able to image the Milky Way core again, which is just crazy. Now this target is stock full of hydrogen alpha in oxygen three. There's a lot of oxygen three in it. So narrowband is going to do this target a world of good. I will be using the Optolong L enhanced dual narrowband filter since I shoot with an OSC camera. But if you use monochrome, you can do an HOO image where you shoot hydrogen and you shoot oxygen and you map the oxygen to green and blue and then the hydrogen to red. What you can also do to fix the unnatural star colors of narrowband, which I find that I've been doing a lot more here lately and that it really makes an image a whole lot better is getting RGB stars. So you can get the natural brightness and the color of the stars and then blend it into your narrowband image. I find it just makes the images much more appealing and hey, you get those accurate star colors. Now I gotta say this weather has actually been quite nice. It is very warm for February and in my last video it was freezing cold and snow on the ground and here we are it feels like April out here and it's early February but hey I love this weather. We also have some crisp clean clear skies and there is some very very promising weather for tonight and it's not too cold so i won't be freezing my fingers off hopefully i will state that you need some focal length to image this target it is quite small so a kit lens or a small scope probably won't cut it for this one you'll still definitely get it and can get an image you're happy with but as far as getting close up and personal to those nice fine details inside this nebula you definitely want some focal length. Now my Quattro 150P is about 500 millimeters of focal length. Even then, I still am having some trouble pulling out some of those finer details. But I do have a resolution of 1.1 arc second per pixel, which is pretty good. So as long as the seeing allows for it, I'm able to pick up some pretty good detail still. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the dew heater on for the guide scope, turn that on high. I'm also going to get the phone connected to the ASI Air. Okay, so we're on the polar alignment menu. We're gonna hit play and continue our polar alignment process. I just got done polar aligning and I'm about to go back home. It took forever. One of the screws that you use a polar line ended up coming off, the one for the latitude adjustment. And I had to get my toolkit out and fix that. That took a few minutes. So we're a little late getting set up here, but I'm not giving up. This is a clear winter night. So anytime it's clear in winter, you don't give up, you keep going because you never know when the next clear night's gonna be. So we're gonna salute to Kindness Major, Major early. We are going to salute to Sirius because that'll be our collimation and focusing star, which is very good. It's the brightest star in our entire night sky. So focusing, collimating, all that is very easy on it. All right, we got focus up and everything. And in just a plate solving sub, you can slightly see the Thor's helmet starting to come out there. It's upside down right now. So if we go over here and we change it to a 10 second sub, and we'll just see how that looks. There'll probably be quite a bit more nebulosity too. But then you also gotta remember that we'll be taking five minute subs. We got the guide scope stars nice and sharp and crisp. So we'll have perfect guiding and we get that Thor's helmet flamed up there. This is going to be a great image, I believe, at the end. Here is a sneak peek at the data that I got last night and we're gonna keep adding on to it tonight. So. I'm, this is really promising. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. So we're starting to take our first sub. You can see the guiding is doing pretty good. We're taking 300 second subs and that is five minutes of course. So we're just gonna have to see how this waits and I cannot wait to see the first sub come through. And there is one of the subs right here, five minutes. Just look at that detail, the upside down Thor's helmet. And you can see what I mean by this target is quite small. I mean, this is a, a very small field of view too with the 585 at 500 millimeters of focal length. It's a pretty small field of view and look, it is still small in there and hard to resolve those small details. So you really wanna have some focal length to image this target, that is for dang sure. I took six hours of 300 second sub exposures to get an image I am very proud of. 
I've waited years to finally image this target and I took the opportunity and I am very proud to say this is my first ever image of the Thor's Helmet Nebula.